exhale through your mouth out and again inhale and exhale out two more inhale through the nose and exhale out now lift your arms inhale and hold yourself tall beautiful now get up on toes few times up and down you're very strong in your core so the center of the body and then lifting the heels away from the floor and eight seven six five four three two and one good job now make a little plie and zip and lift and lower plie zip lift and lower so down and up Again, up and up. Three more. Up, two, up. Last time and up. Good job. Now lower the arms down. Ready for shoulder circles. So rolling around and up. Keep your arms long and the stick is still parallel with the floor. It gives you the reference if you're lifting one shoulder higher. And then circle reverse go backwards and four and three and two and one nice now we try to lift one shoulder so now tilting the stick away from the floor one side and then change one two three four five six seven and eight good job add a place opening the legs to the side a little bit and now we try a little bit to move from left to the right just a little bit to wake the legs and then also the upper body will do nice twists. We go to the side a little bit. First we start very gentle with a little twist. And then you can breathe. One inhale, one exhale. Long arms. Oh, in the morning this feels good to just warm well. And then after workout you will feel great the whole day. Two more. And last time, excellent. And now we hold it in place. Good morning, Eleni. <laughs> You're on time, just a few minutes. Okay, two more. One and two. Excellent. Now we step in a place and we try to go down and up. So your feet are turned to the side and knees following the direction of your feet. And now lower the stick. You try to touch your knees and then lift up. And again, and stick is also great for opening the chest. So now we'll try to go even deeper behind the head and then you go down. So you lift and go back and down and four and three and two and one. Excellent. Now go down the stick just above your knees and then you try to lift and lower just your arms inhale three more one and two and three then you move back and then go down the legs are not moving you really feel nicely your quads supporting the movement and two more, one and two, excellent. Now you stretch the legs and try to reach the floor with a stick. Now head is down, you look between your legs behind you, then you bend your knees and then roll the head up. So we'll show from the side. So we go down, stretch the legs, look behind, then bend your knees and roll yourself up until you reach your knees with a stick. And again, stick down, stretch legs, look behind, bend your knees, roll the spine up, straight and tall. One more, reach the floor, stretch the legs, look behind you, bend your knees, roll up, touch the knees with a stick, and then completely stretch up. Good job. Let's walk into place a little bit. Now you hold the stick in width of your shoulders. So elbows are a little bit wider to the side and then we just keep walking 
And you can also move a little bit from left to the right of the stick, trying to synchronize this movement together with the arms. And four, and three, and two, and one. Good job. Now, I'm going in front on the heel. So a little bit going lower to the calves and ankles, just to warm. And then I'll go from the side, you see. So I'm down with bent knees and trying to stretch one leg on the heel. And then we go up in a circle, lifting the arms. And then you come in front of your body, lowering the stick down. And then circle in front again. Move the legs and again. Move the stick down, stretch in front, lift arms, and then in front of the body, lower down. Now let's reverse the circle. We go forward, and you go in and up. And again, forward, in and up. Last time, and in and up. Good job. Now move one leg to the side, and then go to the other side. Again, trying to have the stick parallel with the floor, everything aligned, sliding one leg at a time. And four, three, two, and one. Now, just one leg. You move back and stretch up. Move back, stretch up. So this leg on the floor is holding the whole weight, and the other one is moving, opening the waist when you cross, and then when you open to the side, activating nicely your obliques and also the adductors. And then two more. Last time. Good job. Coming to the center, bend knees, and then stretch the other leg. Go. In and out. If your arms are too tired, you can lower them on your chest for a little break. And then again, stretch when you feel ready. So let's go. Four. And three and two and one good job now everyone arms down elbows next to the body and the stick just above the chest again we're in the center bending the knees now we'll try to go behind again and then stretch the arms opposite of the foot back and then you come to the center same side again just the same side and come to the center cross and center and cross and center, one more, stretch the arms. And now, let's go to the other side. So first the leg, and then stretch your arms, and then rotate to the center. One, center, two, three, and four. Good job, now we go again behind. Now arms go up. So really opening, you want to be so tall, opening the arms backwards. So it's one, and to the center, only one side. Up, open the arms as much as you can. You go backwards. Four and three and two and one. Let's go to the other side. So again, the leg moves back, the arms up, and move the arms as far as you can, opening the chest and come to the center. Let's go four times. One, two three, and four, Woo. come to the center, stretch the legs, and a little walking in place. Then you will place your stick just in front of you, so really in your central line, so your spine is coming out of the stick, and you hold it. You don't have a lot of pressure on it, so it's really just very lightly on the floor. You still have your body weight on your feet, and just keeping walking down. Nice. Now, we will try to open legs, move a little bit further away from the stick, so from the side it looks like this, so arms in front, and then we go down again, <sighs> bending the knees, all right, and then you open one arm. So again, the stick is in the center of the body, and now hold it there. Now, you go to the side and into the center. You lean away from the stick and center. And inhale through the nose, exhale. Everything still and calm. Just the upper body and arm moving to the side. One more. Inhale and exhale. Now, the arm goes down. You want to touch your knee, so between the stick and body. And then open into the center. And you go down. Inhale. And we do exhale. We do inhale down 
to really engage the lateral breath, opening the lungs, and then exhale when we come up. Again, inhale and exhale. For some people who do yoga, it's a bit weird way of breathing because in yoga is usually inhale when you go up and exhale when you go down. This is a little bit different one to stimulate your lungs. Now, change the arm. Ready, open the other side. If you're very tired in your legs, you can stretch your knees. If you can, hold down. And we go to the side, inhale, woo! And exhale, it feels good. Nice opening and come back. Inhale through the nose and two more. One, come back, last time. Let's go down, touch your knee and open. Again, inhale and and again, inhale, two more to go. One, and up, and two, and up. Beautiful, now we change arm again. Now we will include the legs and do again the same thing. So we will try to open with straight legs and then bend your knees, you go down, only one side. Ready, eight times. One, and go down, bend your knees. Two, and down. Three, and down. Now everything is working. The whole body is active. And three more to go. Two, and last one. And exhale, nice. Stay in the place, stretch the legs, change your arm, and let's go with straight legs to the side. Inhale, exhale, down, go up. Inhale, now we change the breath. Inhale is up, exhale is down. So it's quick transition. So we are adopting to do inhale when we open up and exhale when we go down. Four more, and down. Three, two, last time. Oh, nice, excellent. Now close your feet, you swivel to the center, and now you grab your mat, we're going down on the floor. You still can place your stick just on the floor down. And we're nicely warmed for the floor exercises. Let's go. So you will walk at the beginning of your mat with your stick, and then long arms, you cross your feet to the back, and then with a control, gently sit on your mat. So the feet and knees in width of the hips, arms long, parallel with the floor stick, inhale through the nose, lift, and exhale, roll down. Now the stick slides up on your thighs, and then you come up and inhale. Exhale, roll down and come up with inhale. And again, roll to the floor and come up. Inhale, two more. And come up, last time. Now roll back, the stick stays above your knees. So you can pull your feet a little bit closer. So closer to your body. And now we try to slide down. You're pressing the stick against your legs like you're doing massage of your quad. And you lower your head down. Now lift your head and then press down into your thighs and lift, reach far away. And again, to your knees, and we start. Press down into your legs, roll to the floor bone by bone, inhale through the nose, exhale, head up, and then slide up and roll. Now the stick actually plays behind your legs and try to lift your feet, so below the knees. Now look at your belly. We try to sit straight and now open the chest. You pull the legs towards you, elbows wide up to the side. Inhale through the nose and exhale. We try slowly to lower the spine on the floor. Keep your legs in the same spot and you try lowering the spine bone by bone by bone. When you place your lower back on the floor, then pull your knees to the chest. Excellent. Now stretch the legs to the ceiling. Now the stick is behind you. You should be high enough to not rub your back of the legs. So you're really further away 
push the stick away and pump. Inhale, three, four, five. Exhale, three, four, five. In through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Arms long. Exhale deeply out. Legs together and long to the ceiling. Exhale it out. Put your sit bones together and inner thighs strongly. And exhale out. Shoulder blades away from the floor. Exhale out. Two more times to go. Exhalation, last time. And exhale out. Good job. Bend your knees. <sighs> Try to take the stick outside and lift up above the shoulders. Now stretch the legs down to the floor, roll up, inhale through the nose, lower the stick down to the floor, exhale, lift the arms, lift your head, roll up the body and reach, two, three, and roll back with a control. If this is difficult, so what you can do is to place the legs here, inhale, and then try to pull yourself up and then again, roll down, inhale, and exhale, pull yourself up. And then again, inhale through the nose, reach up, roll up and over, and then go back, bone by bone by bone, good job. Inhale, and then up, roll over, and go down, with a control, good job. Bone by bone by bone, last time, and up and over, and go down to the floor. Again, stick up in your arms, above the shoulders, and now point your toes, one leg stretch. So we change legs every time, and we try to come closer to the stick. If you want to touch the stick and you're not so flexible, you can lower the stick above your belly. And then you want to kick with the leg in the middle of the stick. Again, look at the alignment of the stick. It should be parallel with the floor. Both arms extended, long. And now hold one leg up. Just hold it. And you try just to do small tap to the stick, coming to the chest. Four, three, two, and one. Lower the leg, let's go to the other side. And again, to the stick. And eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Now lower the legs. Arms go 45 degrees against the floor. So not completely down, but 45 degrees. Ready? Now what we try is to pull one knee to the chest and then stretch the other one, go up and down. This exercise is a really good one to strengthen your lower back. You want to feel your sacrum, the lower back, really on the floor because you have knee on the chest your lower back is on the floor right now and then you try to keep that position moving the other leg straight in and out four and three and two and one good job now both knees to the chest you can do a little rest for the arms so down stick on the ankles now we go to the other side. So opening the arms and then stretch the other leg to the ceiling and then we gently go down and up. It's a smooth motion. So it's really never stopping. It's flowing down and up. If you feel any weird click in the hip, it might happen that one side is clicking, the other one is not. You need to adjust and bend your knee a little bit or make smaller movements. And four, and three, and two, and one. Good job, both knees to the chest. And now lift your head. Can we try to do, whoops, up and down and sit. We roll like a ball. So with a stick, you're grabbing the ankles. Inhale through the nose. And then exhale, you try to roll back to come up. So you need to lift your butt away from the floor to be able to come up. So your abs deeply brings you back. 
and then abs brings you up. And you exhale, come up, inhale, three more. One, and two, last time, three. Excellent, good job. Now, arms parallel with the floor. We slide one leg out, the other one is bent, and then we change and change. Preparing for a single leg stretch, and slowly lifting the feet away from the floor. Try it. And then we try gently to roll on the mat. Whew. The arms up 45 degrees to not be on the way for the legs. So we are able to stretch one leg out, pull in. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Knees to the chest, ready for double leg stretch. You open and pull in. Open, pull in. If you have any issues with the neck now, you can lower the head and just work on your deep abs. And again, in and out. When you open your long, pull in. Very strong, three more. One, two, and three. Woo, scissors. You can lower the head first and then stretch the legs to, stretch first the arms and then legs to the ceiling. Now one leg comes to the stick, the other one lowers down. And then change, one and two, three and four. Again, if you're strengthening your lower abs, you want to be sure that everything is still on the floor and legs are a little bit higher. And then when you feel, okay, I can do more, then you can lower the other one. So don't go immediately down, try to work up to the ceiling. Now lift your head. Let's try a little bit deeper. So go down, touch the stick and lower the leg down. And eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Ooh, bend the knees to the chest. Just a little tiny break for lower lifts. Now stretch the arms again up, legs to the ceiling. We try to lower, lower, lower and lift. This is really tough for the lower abs, so you can bend the knees and then try lower, lower, touch and lift. This is alternative. So lower, lower, touch and lift. Again, both legs down and lift. Now lift your head and shoulder blades, the same thing. Lower, lower, lower and if you can, you try really to reach the floor. This is for advanced. If you're strong in your lower belly, you need to put your sit bones together and really squeeze the cushion between your inner thighs when you're lifting up. Three more, lower, 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 and lift. Two more, down, two, three, and lift. Last time, one, two, three, and whoo. Lower your head and knees on the chest, ready for crisscross. Feet on the floor. You can open your feet in width of the hips and now lift the upper body. So try to lift your shoulder blades up. So what we do now is we twist to one side and then lower the stick to the opposite knee and come to the center. Twist to the other side, lower stick to the knee and come to the center. So twist, lower, center, twist. You need to lift yourself, center, twist, lower, center last time, twist, lower and center, Woo, lower on the floor. Now knees to the chest. One, two, three, four. Alternating the legs. And eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo, let's combine. Lift the upper body. Now we will just do this twist at the place. And then we do one. Two, you want to reach your foot, so the knee that is bending on the chest, you twist the stick and reach the foot. Eight, seven, six, five, long arms, and last time, ooh, knees to the chest, head on the floor. Good job, everyone. Lift the head, try to go up and down to sit. Spine stretch forward. 
So opening the legs, wider than your hips and stick in front of you again. So you can push through the heels, flexing the feet, inhale through the nose and exhale. First you start from your head and then peel off the shoulders, upper back, mid back from the wall and then you reach. Two, three and come back to the wall with inhale. Exhale, roll down. You have a big ball in front of you and then come back with inhale, two more. Exhale, reach forward. Pull the belly back to the spine and come back to the wall with inhale. Exhale, reach, two, three, and come in with inhale. Now arms up, you can point your toes and flex. Just a little bit to play with the feet. And four more, three, the spine's absolutely straight. And now hold, you can relax your feet. We just hold the body straight, the ribs away from the hips. We try to twist to the left and then twist to the right, center. Twist to the left, center, twist to the right. And again. So keep your heels glued to the mat and you're twisting around your waist and trying really to do 90 degrees from the first starting position, 90 degrees and center last time, twist, twist and center, good job. Now you lower the stick behind your head and lower on your shoulders, let's try like this again, one, two and back. Now I isolated your shoulders, you really need to twist from your waist. So this is your maximum you can do, so twist, twist and back. It's a small movement but going really deep down. Three more, twist, twist, and last time, twist, twist. Good job. Now we twist on one side, and we lower down, like we want to kiss the opposite knee, and then roll up to the center. Twist to the other side, roll down. Whoa, you want to kiss your knee, and come up to the center. Last time, twist, twist, go down. Come up, center, the other side, twist, twist, and you reach down and come up into the center. Now again we do the twist, but now stretch the arms. And then with the, out, uh, the edge of the stick, you want to reach your little pinky toe. One, two, three, and then come up with inhale. Take your arms a little bit wider. And again, twist. Little finger and little pinky toe together. Come up and open, twist. And go down, two, three, come up. And open last time, the other side, and down, two, three, come up, and open, good job. Now, again, arms more narrow, and then gently, step by step, close your legs, not too fast. And then bend your knees, and open the knees, feet together, stick is up. It's a bit difficult because you want to go down, so try to open yourself. And then just lower the arms, and lift, whoo. This is a great challenge for your deep back muscles, which are usually very weak because we don't use them properly. You're always in that forward position. And especially for people who have kyphosis, this is the position. For them, it's really hard, but they really need to do this almost every day. And now you hold the stick up and then close the legs and you can stretch again. Just hold it. Now both hands together. So you have hands in the middle of the stick together. And now hold it up. One arm lowers down. The other one will do a little rotation like a helicopter, turning the stick around. Straight and tall. You keep doing this movement and just adding a little bit to it. You bend the opposite leg. So bend your knee, opposite leg, and then try to take your toes. If toes are too far away, you can grab your calf. And then we try to extend. You try to keep the stick really parallel with the floor. And then you do arm and leg parallel and lower the leg and arm down. Whew. Ready for the other side. Stop with the rotation and then change your arm. Again, in the middle of the stick, 
the other arm is down, part with the floor, and start with rotations. So just twisting around. This is a lot of engagement of your mind to the body because you need to think a lot what you're doing, what is doing what. And ready for the other leg. We pull the knee to the chest and then we try to grab toes or calf and we try to extend as much as possible, keeping the spine straight. And four, and three, and two, and one. Now make a little teaser and then lower arm and leg down, parallel with the floor. Now stop rotation in the arms and now grab the stick in the middle. Now you roll gently down to the mat. And then up. Arms again together, just above the chest bone. And now lower the arms above the head and lift and lower down on the body. You go inhale and exhale. Inhale and now just lift your head and shoulder blades. Inhale and and legs are absolutely still. And every time you try to go a tiny bit higher, let's try it. Heels on the floor, inhale, and again, inhale. Try a little bit higher, almost in a sitting up. And again, go down and come up. So this is your progression. If you cannot do the roll up, to start like this, and gently come up in a sitting position. And two more. And last time, you try to come up and sit. You turn on the belly, turn around. The stick stays in front of you. And you take it in width of your shoulders. Legs together. And you engage your abdominals, deep abs, pulling the belly up to the spine. We're isolating in this way the lower back. The face is down, nose is down, shoulder blades glide down to your hips. So you want to see opening in your neck. And now lift both arms with a stick and lower. And lift and lower. Woo. Again, I'm killing that back area. For people who are sitting a lot, they will feel it's really challenging to lift the stick. And again, lift and lower. Four, three, keep your belly strong. So there is no pressure on the floor with the belly. And now hold the arms up. Now you move the stick behind the head and stretch. Woo, now we're going even a little bit deeper. And again, pull in, stretch out. Your deep, deep back muscles that hold your vertebrae are now very active. Two more. One. And two. Woo, nice. Now hold the stick in front. So try to place it on your mat so that it's not on the floor. And we can roll it in and roll it out. So it's on the mat. You can slide yourself a little bit away. And then you place your hands on the top, long fingers. And then inhale through the nose. Lift yourself up for the swan. And exhale, roll down, inhale, exhale, again, in, and up, three more, in, and up, last time, and roll down, now hold it up again, now just hold it here, in a swan position, and now you lower your elbows on the floor and you try to lift the elbows. Lower and lift. Two more and lift. Last time, stay down on the elbows and now bend knees. So you want to kick, kick and stretch. Flex the feet and stretch. You're on your elbows, so support on your elbows, kick, kick. When you do these kicks, you feel very nice opening in the quads and also the hip flexors. So the muscles, which are again, not working properly, 
in everyday sitting position. Two more. Last time. Kick, kick, and go down. Again, roll the stick down, chest on the floor. Now we go for the swimming. You lift one leg and opposite arm, and then lower down. And lift and lower. You're very long with the arm and leg. So the idea is to be very long. You go into the length. The height is less important. So the height will come when you reach good mobility in your back and also strength in your glutes and back muscles. Four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Now open the legs. Bend your knees. Now heels together. You make like a little fish tail with your legs and you try to go in and out. Keeping heels together. Four, three, two, and one. Now take your stick and place behind your head down on your shoulders. Elbows away from the floor. Chest on the floor. So I'm down, deep down with the chest. And then I try to hop, lift both knees away from the floor. Heels together. So the chest is down because I don't want to put pressure on my lower back. So I'm able now to engage my abdominals, to put a strength into the powerhouse to lift the legs and you feel your glutes and hamstrings firing and eight seven six five four three two and one Woo, good job you put gently your knees together stretch the legs out place the stick in front of the body and then go on your hands on your toes and you come up in a plank now we move back heels on the floor and then come down in a plank you move back with inhale down exhale again inhale and three more one and down and two and three Come into the line. Excellent. Let's go for the side kick series. So you will go on one side and then you will go on the elbow. Elbow below the shoulder. Elbow, hips and feet in one line at the back of the mat. Again, you hold your stick. All right. I'm here. And you stretch the upper leg. Hold yourself strong. Lift the ribs away from the floor. We try two kicks in front and two kicks back. One and two, back and back. Kick in front and kick it back. Three more, back, back. Everything is absolutely still and you look at your stick to really be parallel with the floor. So make that alignment. Last time, kick, kick and back, back. Now keep the leg in the line of the spine. Now the arm comes in front. So we'll turn the other side on the floor. And again, you're not pushing it into the stick, you're keeping it very light. Now again, you try to kick, kick, and back, back. You come to your stick gently and back, back. Now the stick is your reference. You need to push a bit harder to kick into it. It is in front of the chest. If you want less, you move it down in front of your hips and kick, kick, back, back. Two more, back, back, last time. And again, leg in line off your spine. Now again, lift it up. You go over, inhale, and then exhale, elbow and knee. Inhale, open, exhale. And four more, three, last two, and one. Good job. Hold the stick up, long leg out. Excellent. Now we try to lower ourselves down, completely laying on the floor. Now the bottom leg moves in front, you stretch it and anchor the foot on the mat. Now the leg above the leg, you try to come up and down, up and down, almost reaching the arm and the stick 
When you lower the leg, heel to heel. So try to really lengthen in your waist to reach the heel down. And four, and three. Now lower the arm a little bit down to the floor. Now bend your elbow, place the stick down on the mat, and now the hand behind the head. Two more. And one, and two, good job. Now circles, leg above the leg, and you do nice, beautiful circles around. Brush the bottom leg. It's a brisk and precise movement. Four, three, two, reverse. Very stable in your pelvis. So you need to engage a lot of muscles to be stable, otherwise you're wiggling around. And four, three, two, and one. Good job. Now we do a little passe. You will twist your knee together with your foot, so the hip is twisting up, and then you lift the leg again. You try to bend the knee, elbow and knee together, and then you go down with your foot, touch the inner part of your knee, slide down, and come up, bend, and slide down to come up, bend. Touch down the leg above the knee. Like you're taking off some socks without help of your arms. And slide down. And last time. And down. Now reverse. You put on the socks again. Slide up above the knee. Lift your knee up higher. Up, flex your foot, go down and pull in, stretch out, flex and down, pull in, out, flex and down, three more, pull in, so keep the contact with the leg as far as you can, so I'm touching my leg with toes as far as possible, last time, pull in and stretch out, good job, ready for inner ties, hand in front, the upper leg moves back, and I try to lift the bottom leg up and up. You feel great engagement of your inner thighs and your obliques. This is now all connected. And the hand in front of you for a good support and stability. And four, three, two, and one. Now hold the leg up and you try to cross the top leg. You cross it and hold both legs together, feet crossed, and four, three, two, and one. Now again, go down and do just cross and down and cross, down and cross. Again, great exercise to also work on your lower abs. So if you're weak there, this is also a great thing to do by strengthening your inner thighs. In this position, you're going to your lower abs and your obliques. Three more. One, and two, and three. Woo, cross your feet. Get up on your elbow again. Now, feet are crossed and bend the knees, hand behind the head, and you want to reach knee width to the elbow and stretch up. Go in, stretch up. <sighs> Try to be really high up, that's it. Pull in, three more. One, and two, and three. Good job, feet together, knees open. Now close your knees, hand behind you. We come up in a sitting position and just do transition to the other side. So grab your stick first, and then elbow, hips and feet in one line. I'll come a little bit forward. So, in one line, and the arm reaching up to the ceiling with a stick holding in the middle, stretch the upper leg. You feel immediately engagement in the side of your body. Hold the leg, we do two kicks. One, two, and back two. And big in front, small at the back. Everything is so still. Strong leg, long in the knee. Kick, kick, back, back. Chest at the same place. There is no movement there. Three more. Kick, kick, back, back. Two more. Back, back. And last time, 
back, back, go in the line. Now place the stick in front of you, so in front of the hips or in front of your belly, and gently hold and come with the leg in, in, and back, back, kick, kick, just approaching gently, and then back, back, four more, kick, kick, three to go, back, back, last two, and the last one, kick back. Now hold the leg again, straight. Move the arm up, hold it up. Excellent. Now the knee comes into the chest and stretch it out. Into the chest and stretch it out. Four more, and three, and two, and one. Now you want to pull the knee up and go in and up to the arm. You can bend your elbow and come up. A little bit down, come up. Elbow and knee, and three, and two, and one. And now we open, Woo! and then go in, and open. Exhale when we come together, inhale when we open the lungs, to the side, and four more, one, and two, and three, and four. Oh, nice, now you come into place, stretch the leg, and gently we try to roll down completely on the mat. So now hold still, arm up, and we go again, in and open. Three more, one, and two, and three. Good job. You can now leave the stick above your head. And now place the hand in front, bottom leg stretch, anchor the foot on the floor, leg above the leg, and we go up and down. When you go down, you try to reach with your heel, the other leg, heel to heel. Try to find your heel. So when we go down, your feet are in that Pilates stance. So we have a V letter when we connect the heels. Two more. And two. Now hold the leg up. Beautiful. And gently with the control, lower down for circles. And go. In and around. And brush. Two, three, four. You can also place your hand here down just below the waist on the hip joint, and you can gently give a little touch and push the hip away from you to lengthen into the waist and to reach with your foot further away. Now reverse, go back and circle, circle, circle. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold the leg, ready for plie, hand behind the head. Now turn your foot up. You pull the socks on, you start here, reverse. You pull on and then hop, stretch like up, flex the foot, reach down to the heel. Ready, go. In, stretch, and down. Pull in, stretch, and down. And four more to go. Let's go. Three, two more. Last two. And last one, hop, hop, and down, reverse. Now the leg goes, bend knee to the elbow, and now take off the socks, you place the foot above the knee, and hop, slide down, flex, point, and then take off, and up, point, and take off the socks, flex foot up, and down, and roll, two more, hop, and roll, last time, in, and roll, good job. Now stretch the upper leg, hand in front of you, move the leg in line of the spine. We try to lift the bottom leg, and lift, and lift, and whoosh. Again, immediate engagement of your lower abs, inner thigh, and obliques. It's a diagonal. And eight, try to hold the leg a little bit more. Don't hurry to go down. So hold, and gently down, hold, Yes, that's it. And again, hold and go down. It's a way to control, so we don't hurry to do many repetitions, but we do it precisely. 
It's a lot of quality motion. Last time, and now hold the leg. Now try to cross the top leg, cross your feet. If you are very tired, you can bend your knees a little bit. If you can, try to hold. Four, three, two, and just the bottom leg goes down and cross, down and cross. Give me four, cross. Three, I know. Two, only one left. Yes, and now you can bend your knees. You can place your feet on the floor. You can do a little tapping if needed. And then, again, try to stretch out. You go up on your elbow, hand behind the head, and then knee and elbow together. And you extend and pull in. Again, the breath is helping you to move, giving the oxygen into the body. And four more, one, and two, and three, and four. Good job, let's turn on the knees. We turn around on the knees. And now we will place for the alignment the stick just in the center of the mat, between the legs and between the arms. Just to give you the reference of your alignment when you do the exercise. Now knees are really close to the stick, a little bit open, and hands below shoulders. And we try to stretch one leg at a time. You go back. Keep the alignment. So your spine, your chest bone is just above the stick. And you try to extend one leg at a time, keeping yourself straight above the stick. And eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Now stretch one leg. Now we will do the opposite arm. Also lift above the floor and try to hold. Again, you are just above the stick. And now knee and elbow come together in the center and open eight times. One, open, two, three, four. Come on, you can do it. Four more, three, two and one. Excellent. Everything down at the first beginning position. Now stretch the leg again. Opposite arm up. Hold. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Pull the belly up. And now knee and elbow in, out. Exhale, inhale. Four to go. One, two, three, and four. Good job. Down at the place, we go down on the elbows, and now you will lift one knee up. Hold, and now you try to cross the other knee down, lift, and then come to your elbow, and again lift. Cross the leg down, and then come to the elbow, same side. And again, cross, lift, go to the elbow, up. Cross, lift, in, up. Eight more. In, up. Seven. Lift the knee as high as possible, keeping your spine and hips parallel with the floor. So spine is long, no arching. Three to go. In, out. Last time. In, out. Now hold the leg down on the floor. We will get up on hands again, the same side again. But now you lift leg to the side. <sighs> Away from the stick, lift and lower. Lift and lower. <sighs> now you will try to connect the opposite arm. So again, bend the elbow, how it looks like, it's like this. So you bend the elbow and together with the knee, you move to the side. And eight, seven, Six, five, everything is parallel with the floor, so you don't lean towards one side. And hold, still, let's go to the other side. Good, so we go on the elbows first, lift your knee, bend the knee, and then you cross the other leg, lift high up, and then come into the elbow, up, cross, lift to the elbow, 
up, cross, lift, go in, up, cross, lift, in, eight more to go, and in, seven, and six, try to breathe in the rhythm of the movement, so you can do one exhale, one inhale, again the goal is not to breathe too fast, because the movement is pretty dynamic, we try two inhale, two exhale, we have one more to go, and go, one, in, up, and cross, good job, again legs together, get up on your hands, and then you open the leg to the side, open to the side, up and back, open and in, four, three, two, ready for the arm, opposite arm, you bend the arm in your elbow, and together with the opposite leg, open away from the stick, open, go in, four, three, two, and one, excellent, hands on the floor, you try to go in a plank, if you need a little break you can sit back on your heels, if you can you continue with me, again stick between arms and legs, and you open in a plank, hands below shoulders, heels above your, the balls of your feet, and now we will try to cross, you go in, to the opposite elbow. If this is difficult, go down on your knees and then cross the stick below you and try to reach the opposite elbow. And cross out, cross out. Four more, one and two and three and four. Now don't go down. You place both hands on one side and then you cross the bottom leg below, and we try to turn around, woohoo! And now we're above the stick, but turned with the back of the body, from the back side, lift up. Now you gently want almost to touch the stick, to sit and lift. Sit and lift, if this is difficult, bend your knees, and again, sit and lift, sit and lift. Four more, one, two, and three, good job, bend your knees, hands on the floor, and just move away from the stick, so you are able to sit on your mat, and then take the stick, turn around, and then whew, inhale through the nose, long and tall, exhale, go behind, head on the shoulders, inhale, now exhale, chin down, lower yourself down, the top of the head reaching to the floor, roll up with a control gently, inhale, come up, exhale, now move your feet to the side so we can get up on the knees, and then prepare to stand up. You place one foot in front of you. If you wish, you can place the stick above the knee, the other foot on your toes, and we stand up. Now inhale through the nose. We go in a nice Pilates stance. And exhale, down. And again, inhale through the nose. Now together with a stick, roll down. You try to step across the stick. You place your foot in front of the stick so the stick stays behind the legs. And then you roll up with a stick behind the legs. Now you open and in. You move arms back and in. Place your hands a bit more narrow in the width of the hips. And again, try to move away and in. Three, two, one, good job. Now again, lower yourself down. The stick goes up to the ceiling and then goes over down to the floor, opening shoulders, and then lower the stick down behind your legs. 
on the floor and then step with your feet behind the stick stretch the legs and roll up with a control bone by bone by bone and finally now through the nose